Hey there friend, thanks for checking in at the range now and today we're looking at the Canik TP9 SF Elite. Just picked this up at a trade. Already took a few shots, very happy with it. I am familiar with Canik. And I have the TP9 Elite Subcompact. I have the full-size race gun. Now I have the TP9 SF Elite. Compact size pistol with a 4.2 inch barrel and loaded with features, which is very common with Canik. 430 MSRP. It does come with 15 round magazines. It has a trigger that I'm measuring at four and a half pounds. And many people will tell you that the Canic triggers are some of the best out there. Four and a half pound trigger pull, very short and audible reset. Blacked out, worn tactical rear sights, fiber optic front sight, front serrations, ambidextrous slide stop. Mag Z release can be switched over. It comes with an additional back strap. A little red in there for the trigger. Nice sight picture. Does have a striker fire indicator right there. That little red tab. Not sure if the camera will pick that up. And a loaded chamber indicator bar. A pick rail right there. Everything that people desire with a compact size handgun is right here. Now they now make this with a tungsten gray Cerakote slide which is very nice i have that with my subcompact model this is very well regarded as a fine gun a lot of pistol for the money and i certainly attest to that like i mentioned this is my my third canic it's a straight shooter like it, it, it's just a real nice shooter as long as you do your job the pistol will perform and this one certainly has not much more can be said about Canic or Janic as some people say that hasn't already been said so let me go ahead and load it up we'll fire it some more and you can check this out I, I will mention a lot of people love the Canic pistols a lot of people love the Canic pistols and I'm a fan all right so we know that the Canics are pretty accurate let me see how well I do from 10 yards one hand will start at the right rabbit No argument there. <laughs> really like this pistol and it was a great trade. Now, if you haven't seen my video that I made with how I acquired this, I traded my M&P Shield Plus for this. A little bit of cash. This was, uh, a holster was added also with this pistol. Both people were very happy. And I, I talked about it and I said, you know, the, the M&P Shield Plus wasn't doing the, the job for me, at least as far as excitement is concerned, this to me is exciting. It has very nice grip texturing on there. I already mentioned additional back strap. Feels great in the hand. No finger grooves, which is a preference of mine. And a 4.2 inch barrel. Big fan of the compact size handguns and big fan of Canik. Now, one of the things I really like is the disassemble process. All you do is pull the slide back a little bit, move those takedown tabs downward, and oh, I have to pull the trigger. Pull the trigger first, and then it comes off just like that. All right, and then to put it back on, you don't you don't slide it off. You just put the upper back on the frame and pull back. Real simple. Same thing with my subcompact model. It, actually, the the TP9 SF Elite is essentially the same thing as the subcompact model, just a little bit larger. One of the things I like to do is lock the slide back and force a mag in the mag well to see if it will charge on its own. And the Canik TP9 SF Elite 
does. But how about a lip wrist test? And a little hang up there with, okay, it did not eject. Try it again. <laughs> All right, so, so far this gun does not want to eject. May have lost a round there. We'll go this way. Looks to be a double feed. So, a lot of people ask me, I never see any of your guns not do well with a limp wrist test. Well, actually, quite a few have not done well with a limp wrist test, and this is, uh, <laughs> this is uh, proof of that. Let's see. And once again, so what's happening here is the case isn't ejecting. Let's try it again. Seems like this weight right here is what's causing the hang up and all right so you can see the gun is out of battery and now it's back into battery I'm gonna go ahead we already got our result and uh, let's see what's going on here all right so it never never chambered let's go Backed up a little bit, got the TP9 SF. Let's start from the left side this time. Come back over there. Well, there it is. TP9 SF Elite, uh, great shooting handgun. I hardly took any shots prior to Making this video, I'm familiar with it. The trigger pull is really nice. And the ergos are really nice too. And it is hot. Sun beating down on it. I've been firing it a lot. But it's getting the job done. And there's no question that this is a nice pistol. A lot of room in the trigger guard. Does have some texturing in the front for those who grip that. But a nice handgun, easy to disassemble, priced right, loaded with features, the canic. TP9 SF Elite, and I'm really happy to have it in my possession. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.